hey guys welcome back to the channel it is your girl love welcome to life with love i'm back with another one of your faves we're going to do spring favorites and fragrances yay um if you guys are new to the channel make sure you stick around um and subscribe to the channel give your girl a big thumbs up automatically because you're gonna love the video and um let's get started i'm not gonna do a long intro today because i know i talk too much <laughs> so i wanted to come through do a spring favorites i wanted to come through um and do a spring favorites video i have been putting together my um collection my my new my newbies like what i wanted to get kind of what i wanted to do for my sense of the month i have not done a sense of the month just yet but there are two that are coming up for the month of may and um i will go and do some individual reviews as well so we have some fragrances in the works i've been trying to i've been cheating on fragrances <laughs> with shoes I've been cheating on fragrances with shoes. So I have a shoe haul coming up um, that I feel like everybody should possibly um, grab a few of for the upcoming season. And if you guys do not know, you can always feel free. My outfit actually is on my brand. I'll put it right here across the bottom. It is the morechic.com. Please feel free to shop. I actually am probably gonna upload these earrings next. So you know me. You know me, sis is, sis is always working and hustling. So you guys know me, sis is always working. All right, so now that we have gotten all of the disclaimers out the way, let's get into the fragrances. These are not in any particular order. These are just been the ones that I've reached for consistently over the last few weeks. And I wanted to kind of give you a little bit more of a spring vibe. So these are my spring faves. Let's get on. Let's go, let's get in. I am going to start with my number one love. This is my number one love. This is my hands down one of my very, very much so signature scents. I will never, ever, ever let her go. I only have one and a half bottle left in um, in storage um, on reserve because she is discontinued. But if I can find her, if anyone else can tell me how to find her, please let me know. Leave it in the comment section below. I promise 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 or if you have a bottle that you want to sell let she know so this is going to be oh come on light there we go this is going to be la citans arlesian ma'am this is my favorite thing from la citan i get a lot of stuff from la citan i usually buy their advent calendar every um holiday season i didn't do it this time but i was on a strict budget for holiday season 2021 but for holiday season 2022 we will definitely be doing the advent calendar for la citan so love 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 our lycian la citan if any of your representatives are, are if any of your representatives are on my channel please bring it back please bring it back but this is our least number two i have to get a full bottle of but I pulled this out for like, I think I did a Springs must-haves. I pulled this out and then I was like, I can't put it back in. I smelled her. I was like, yay. Um, but I am going to get a full bottle soon. As you can see, this is how much I have left. So I still have a little bit of time, but this is going to be um, Balenciaga's Floral, Flora Botanica. It took me a minute to get used to it because there is a strong grass scent that comes out, but then it is beautiful. Like, y'all, it's so beautiful. It is, it is... It is beautiful, literally beautiful. So that is going to be Balenciaga's Flora Botanica, which of course, listen, if there is another Balenciaga um, that I would say to get that is discontinued, but still bomb, it would be B. And I think on eBay right now it's $300. If anybody has a bottle they wanna sell, hit me up in the comment section. I am not paying $300 for B Balenciaga. Another one of my faves, which is also part of my um, body cream, I layer it before I put this on because it is super bomb, is going to be Burberry's Weekend. This is the new formulation of it. I still have the old bottle as well. This is the new formulation of it. It's not that much difference, but the new bottle is really cute, sleek, and sexy, and it is amazing. It is an oldie but goodie, $40, $50 definitely worth a place on the 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 nightstand 
on in the perfume closet, whatever you have, the tray. <sighs> love, 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 love Burberry Weekend. This is one of my go-tos. This is almost another one that I will not let go, but worth a little small investment of $40 or $50. My newbie, which I love, I did a full-blown um, video, I believe, in my um, videos, and this is going to be Creed's Spring Flower. I have not put a dent in her yet, but I have reached for her several, several, several times. Mm. Very unisex, slightly. Slightly unisex, but then the, the, the spring comes out of it. Like you get that kind of um, spring essence from it. But slightly, just slightly slightly unisex but i feel like all creeds are like that i feel like creeds are very unisex and you can decide to either be more masculine or more feminine like period and it's nothing wrong with it i think they do a perfect blend for me for unisex fragrances more so than tom ford i feel like sometimes tom ford is either extremely masculine or extremely feminine and then there's like a small blurred line in between if it came to like unisex fragrances, Creed to me does a better uh, a better job at the unisex. But I, here's the thing: if you if you disagree with me, put it in the comment section. However, I must I said what I said. I said what I said. So Creed's uh, Spring Flower is. Let me smell it one more time before I put it up because she's new. She's new to the collection. And you guys know I've been trying to get a little bit more of the decants so that I could save a little bit of coin because those $300 bottles would bring you down, sis. Okay, that's what I've gone to. And these spring favors are just things that I've reached for recently, okay? There's always more videos to come. Number five is going to be Lancome Zidal. And as you can see, I brought the package that had the two in it. And so this is how much I've used. Now, am I going to go and get that large one? Absolutely. I think it's like $90. I'm going to get it. I was trying to put a dent into this, but this also has what the refillable. So I have the travel size one um, that actually I'm putting in my bag to take with me this week, this weekend. But Lancome Edol is beautiful. It is to me like when in spring, this is my go-to for evening. So I've worn this on about four evening outings. I got four dates this go round these last few weeks. Super excited about date night always. And I feel like this one makes me feel sexy. So there's two in my collection that kind of had me with nighttime sexy. This was one I got a lot of compliments on this. Um, and I'm just sticking with her. So this is Lancome's Edal. I also have a video coming up because I did, I did smell the newest version of Lancome Doll. And I wanna give you my honest to God's opinion on it, but I gotta get a better sample. So I don't wanna just come with it on the paper. I gotta convince the girl at the at the um, counter to give me a sample. All right, so that's Lancome Dolls. That's number five. Number six, you guys know, and if you don't know, there is a tremendous love-hate relationship with um, Armani Fragrances. This is Armani C. Passion, and I will say this. She has grown on me. I've gotten a few compliments wearing her. Very kind of daytime sexy chic. And very fresh, very refreshing. Um, I feel like she might make you sneeze once, but then, she, then you're good. Like if you get that first sneeze out, you're good, sis, you're good. If there was one of the Armani C's, I would tell you to try. This one is the springiest, lightest, most floral of them and not so strong. So it's like sexy with a little bit of strength behind her. So it's like, she's no, she knows she's strong, but she's choosing to be feminine first and at that moment. And I feel like that's what this kind of, kind of invokes. So that is C. Now, love, why did you not get a full bottle of this? Well, because at the time that I got the other bottle, I couldn't get this bottle, but I probably will when I can. This is going to be, y'all know I had to have one in here, La Vie et Belle's. This is Le Clops. And I don't know if I'm saying it right, but this is uh, La Vie et Belle Le Clops. Listen, listen, listen. 
I've been reaching for her lately. Now, you know my fave, I think, out of the out of all of them is En Rose. But I feel like I've been reaching for Leclerc. And it could be just because it's the most convenient for me to grab. But I'm telling you, it was something about this over the last few weeks that was just like, I'm just going to... Like, that was it. And so, she got... She was the pick. Um, I think it's very beautiful. Very spring. Very... Um, it's like a statement. It's got just a really, really, really... It's kind of like a statement one to me. So, it is the bottle that has... It looks like it's actually... Um, um, grummets like it looks like clear grummets on the bottle and so I just feel like she won for a minute and so let her have her moment so that is La Via Bell's Leclat and again I've not even put a dent in her and I know I've won her five times at least staying I would say five hours um so if I would start with this during the day then I would put on something stronger at night like that's probably this was definitely a day for me but she could go from day to night. You just have to read. And then one of my babies I forgot about. I had to pull out the drawer and reintroduce myself again. And that is Gucci Bloom's uh, Profuma Di Fiore. So I got, this is, listen, this is enough, okay? Because when I tell you, is this the rollerball? This is probably the, I think this is the only rollerball that I have. Like, let me put this down. Literally, this is the only rollerball that I have. And it's enough. I think that, let me just tell you honest to God's truth. I'm not sure I would buy this in a large bottle. It sometimes can trigger, it's allergy strong. So like when you first smell it, you might be like, and you might get a sneeze, but then you put it on and it kind of seeps in. You start to feel a little grown and sexy and in your skin and about your business. It's, it's a grown girl. It's a big girl scent without the big girl price. So it's a big girl scent without the big girl price. Yeah, that's what this is. And I'm not a fan of rollerballs, but this one is strong enough for she. So that is the Gucci Bloom, which I love the fact, and this is only um, 0.25 fluid ounces. So this was enough, period. And for travel size, I mean, heck. All right, we are down to our last three. <sighs> My love-hate relationship with this one as well. This, my, my, my next fragrance is going to be Joe Malone's Wood Sage. There we go. That's a little bit better. Can I, did I just get it? This is Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Listen, you have to get it to understand it. Joe Malone's fragrances are very clean, very succinct, very straightforward. It's not a lot of must, a lot of fuss, not a lot of guess. It's not. They're very, very, very on brand this is just very much on brand look how crystal clean the bottle is you kind of know what you're getting um of course all joe malone's are unisex and this one i have that gucci in my nose now <laughs> now i've gotten nose blind let's let's mm -hmm. do you know when i wear this this is probably one of my favorite work fragrances so when i come to the office when I come to the office, I feel like this is just one of those every days. So this is like an everyday day for me. I'm not going to grab her at night. I'm not going to grab her for a special occasion. I'm not going to grab her for date night. I'm just going to grab her when I feel like it. But I've, I've, I've grabbed her. Before, I thought I was going to be obsessive about the uh, mimosa and cardamom for the spring. But I wasn't. I kind of gravitated back towards this. And I have I've put a small dent, not a large dent, but a small dent in it. And I'm okay with that because I have so many fragrances at this point. Like we just, I mean, what what can we do? But get go ahead and get the smaller version of this. This is the 1.7 fluid ounces. You don't need anything larger than this. Um, and just for a nice, crisp, clean, but a signature scent, this is definitely what you want to do. I know a lot of people love Joe Malone for several reasons. I'm just telling you. And I only had three Joe Malone fragrances. So when I get to five, we'll do a we'll do a collection video. I feel like five is my magic number. Okay, so we have two left. This is going to be that other one that I say, oh, I love this so, so, so much. I love her so much. I'm just getting ready to buy another bottle just in case, but this is going to be um, Marc Jacobs Perfect. It, it is absolutely perfect. This is probably 
when I had decadence, I felt like decadence was everything. I had decadence. I had also decadent. Y'all, this, this Marc Jacobs Perfect is the sexiest nighttime for me ever. So it was like, you doll, I would wear at night. And then I kept coming back to Marc Jacobs Perfect. And again, it doesn't look like I've made that much of a dent, but just, just keep watching. Like I'm telling you, I don't know how to not to have this in every collection. I added this to my own, um, my own skin, um, care line which is really just a really 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 good lotion that you can it's, it's bomb it's, it's a bomb lotion it's designer inspired scent but y'all this day in mark jacobs perfect is so bomb like it is probably hands down my favorite um my favorite scent that i have in my line and i'm, I'm just telling you like I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description box below it's definitely worth it The it's just it's just my favorite and you layer it and then you spray the spray on and it's like oh, like literally long lasting period and then last but not least y'all know i had to do it you know i had to do it when have i ever done done a collection that did not have a bond in it when 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 have you known me when have you known me not to have a bond and that is going to be bond number nine's brooklyn listen green notes fragrance but super individualistic super duper duper bomb semi mask semi unisex but with a great punch like not so much you'd be like damn you smell like a man it'd be like oh you know what baby i love this take you a go ahead let me here let me give y'all some that's how bomb she is that's how bomb she is y'all i love 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 brooklyn it definitely is a strong well you know all bonds are stronger bonds didn't come to just sit and say, hey, bonds were, were, were produced to come into the room, to make a statement, to get on the mic, to let you guys have enjoy and have a great time, and then to write the rap report. That's what bonds came to do. They, they didn't come to play. So last but not least is my bond number nine, Brooklyn. And that is it for me, guys. Listen, I'll put the list of all the fragrances that I just mentioned. I will also... Try to put some links down below for where you can get them. And I will put the links for anything that I talked about that was on brand for me. So until next video, please again, give this video a thumbs up. Please share this with a friend and please subscribe and turn your notifications on. I'll see you all in the next fragrance video. Ciao.